Hello, and thank you very much for joining me at our poster, Corona Discharge-Based Charge Equilibration for Nanoelectrospray Gas Phase Electrophoretic Mobility Molecular Analysis, or NES Gamma in short. My name is Victor Weiss from Vienna University of Technology, or TU Wien. On the left-hand side of our poster, you can see our NES Gamma instrument. It is also known under several other names, for instance, ESDMA, which stands for Electrospray Differential Mobility Analyzer. Such an instrument is based on transferring the analytes from the liquid to the gas phase via an electrospray process. Subsequently, droplets are dried down and charge equilibration occurs in a bipolar atmosphere. So that bipolar atmosphere is actually a crucial part of the instrument, but more to that in a minute. Subsequently, we are separating our particles according to their surface dry particle size which is also called electrophoretic mobility diameter or EM diameter. Particles are counted after their size separation when they pass a focused laser beam and we end up with a spectrum relating the EM diameter to the particle counts. Now, as I've stated already, the bipolar atmosphere is the crucial part of our instrumentation. This might be caused, for instance, by 210 polonium alpha particle source. It works perfectly well. However, we have to deal with a radioactive source. And it was now our intention to exchange that radioactive source by a non-radioactive one. And at the same time, we wanted to change our setup as little as possible. And this was possible by manufacturing of a connection piece from an aluminum alloy, which allowed us to directly screw the uh, corona discharge needle of a commercially available setup to the nanoelectrospray source of our NES gamma instrument. Results were absolutely comparable between two setups, the setup using a corona discharge process uh, for generating of the bipolar atmosphere and a setup using a 210 polonium alpha particle source. To sum up, it was possible to exchange a radioactive source of the bipolar atmosphere by a non-radioactive one, uh, facilitating day-to-day -day lab business quite a lot. In case you have any further questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you very much for listening.